The overall view of the sky tower. You can bungee jump off it. This is the sky tower. Restaurants, observatory, and believe it or not, you can jump off of it and be attached to some bungee cords. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. And you fall down almost to here. Or stop.
because I know it's a thing that's certainly quite professional, so I can't give you. Yeah, it's easier to actually to be able to go and say, oh, she's had a bad And that's what he's. Yeah. 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 What do you have? What do you have to do? Everything. Oh, well, <laughs> Thursday the 25th of July that's the Auckland CBD behind me Central Business District I'm down walking in the marina look at that big cruise ship that came into port today last night unloaded a thousand passengers and loading up again it's actually a pretty nice day today Cool, because it's winter, but not raining. Tomorrow I'm gonna go out, I don't know exactly where I'm going, to, out this way to uh, Waiheke Island. One of the islands is uh, out here. It's uh, domesticated, you know, it's got buildings on it, vineyards, and they have zip lines. So I'm gonna do a little, go there, do a little zip line entertainment and I'll film that should be interesting it's like a, take about a day to go there zip line and come back and so I'm just kind of exploring the wharf here today a lot of buildings businesses a lot of empty places I don't know if COVID stopped that or, or what Storefronts here are empty. I don't see that there's a. Well, I looked up online at the demographics of Auckland, New Zealand. I remember Auckland has. Auckland, of course, is a sprawling city. And there's a sort of central Auckland and all the kind of suburbs attached to it. I think the total population is 1.6 million and it's like one of this the largest city in New Zealand Christchurch and Wellington have about 400,000 people each so Auckland's three to four times the size and a lot of they say a lot of the residents are from England originally from England or native New Zealanders but 20% of the population is Asian. When you walk around downtown, it looks like 90% is Asian. There are a lot of schools here, universities and schools, and so a lot of people come from Asia, go to school here, look for work. I've been asking, I've been going to all these restaurants, Korean, Japanese, like today I had ramen, the other day I had Korean, Malaysian, Vietnamese, Thai, all of, from all over Asia, Indonesia. Um, and I always ask the people working there where they're from. They tell me that I ask them what they're doing here, and they'll tell me that they came to get work for a year, go to school. Some people are living here. Not many people say that, but a few. So that's probably what that's what's going on. A lot of, People come here looking for work. Oh yeah, one Korean guy said he came here to get away from the hustle bustle of Korea. Since more laid back, probably this wind is sounding very annoying. So I think I'm going to stop talking.
Okay, I'm walking to town. Boat came into my Tia Harbor. Now I'm walking into town. Around two o'clock, I pick up a, someone picks me up and takes me up to the zip lining area. It's a 20 minute walk into one of the towns on the island. picked up and taken to the zipping area. I just had a huge pizza, a nice salad, rocket salad with pear and walnuts. Eco zip, where I'm headed, get picked up here, 20 minute bus ride or car ride, shuttle ride up to the zip lining area. And I'll be doing some photographs, hang on. Sure you'll all be nicely in the middle. Lucy does badly behave and then she might just project it on the wall behind you. So have a think about that. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um <laughs> there was no reasoning for it not to work. Your legs in, lean back and take the rope. Three, two, one, go! summertime they can grow I think it's like five centimeters a day or is it five inches a day centimeters. five centimeters a day uh, which is quite impressive they do really love privately owned land so we don't get support from the Department of Conservation when it comes to the upkeep and restoration of our beautiful forest here so it's up to guys like myself and Mickey to do everything from weeding pest control
went for a walk today, as I usually do, southeast of the hotel. I'm looking northwest right now, opposite direction, and this area behind me, um, all in here, and then go up this hill, and then kind of down a hill. A lot of architects, uh, construction companies, lighting stores, furniture stores, of course all the little coffee shops and bakeries and, and uh, little restaurants that support all that. We're reminiscent of those parts of cities that where the architects like to hang out and designers, insurance companies, probably some attorneys in there. Right there in the corner is a pretty nice little restaurant, a uh, brick building. Turn around, you'll see the main central business district. That tower, that Sky Street Tower is a nice, iconic building. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's see. You know, it's, hidden, it's hidden back there. But you can always orient yourself with that tower. If you got lost, just look for it. There's the tower. I was hiding behind that tree. Right there. Still haven't seen anybody jump off yet. I don't think I'm going to jump off. It's probably, it's probably scary. Probably not that scary. Because you're on a... I think you're, uh, you're free-falling, but you're riding down a cable. I haven't seen exactly the mechanism, but I have a feeling you're wearing this harness, and the harness probably has a carabiner that's goes around a cable and the cable goes from the platform on the tower down to this platform on the ground so you can't you know can't fly off the wind can't blow you away and you're sliding down that cable and then toward the bottom apparently there's a uh, like a rope on a tension that begins to slow you down kind of gradually so for 11 seconds you're falling free fall and then you're slowly slowing down so uh, yeah, it'd be scary stepping off, but it's probably not unlike going on a zip line. You first jump off a zip line, that uh, feeling of falling. So I don't know, probably won't do it, but there it is, there's the tower, so you can see, orient yourself.
at the Cable Bay Vineyard. Here's the bus behind me. First, I don't know how many, there's 15 stops. I don't know, there's a little less. Every stop isn't a winery, but almost every stop. So these 10 wineries. Anyway, this is the first one. I get three on my tour. Cable Bay Vineyards. Okay, let's check it out. Cable Vineyards. I'm walking to the bus stop to catch the next bus. And it's kind of cold out here. Cold and windy. Kind of drunk. <laughs> Feeling good. On my way to the next winery. Entering Batch Winery. There's the bus let me off. I actually made a mistake because should have gone to this other winery, which is the stop before this. But the bus only goes in one direction, so like I get back on the bus in an hour, and it takes an hour to get back for 45 minutes to go back to the stop that's five minutes away from here. But opposite direction. Oh well.
so there you go. Voglio pranzare, mangio la pasta, che, come, pasta felicini alla bongole. Buon appetito. Grazie. Prego.